So MediaTek recently launched its new Dimensity 8000 and Dimensity 8100 chipsets. And before that, they launched their flagship Dimensity 9000 chipset. And you know what? I've been really excited to check them out because three reasons. Number one, last year's MediaTek Dimensity chipsets, be it the 1200, the 1000 plus, or even the Dimensity 800 were really good chipsets. Reason number two, except for a few Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 devices, all of them have had throttling issues, and that's where all the eyes are on the Dimensity 9000. Reason number three is that MediaTek has been kind of on a roll lately. See, MediaTek became the number one smartphone chipset vendor back in 2020, and it has maintained that position with 33% market share in Q4 2021. Now, this is an important reason because MediaTek has always been this underdog, but now they're the leaders. So it'll be interesting to see how they maintain this top position. Anyway, these reasons apart, new devices with these new Dimensity chipsets are all set to launch soon. So this is the perfect time to take a more detailed look at the new MediaTek Dimensity chipsets. So let's take it one by one. First is the brand new Dimensity 8000 and the Dimensity 8100 chipsets. Now, both of these chipsets are very similar, but the 8100 is a bit more power packed. So here are the important specs of the Dimensity 8000 and the Dimensity 8100. Both of these chipsets are built using the TSMC 5 nanometer process, which is already a big positive because TSMC chipsets have a way better record when it comes to efficiency and thermals when compared to Samsung made chipsets. Anyway, the Dimensity 8000 has four Cortex A78 cores clocked at up to 2.75 gigahertz, while the Dimensity 8100 has them clocked at a higher 2.85 gigahertz. Both of these chipsets have four Cortex A55 cores that can go up to two gigahertz. Apart from this, both of these chipsets have the Mali G610 MC6 GPU, but the Dimensity 8100 has a 20% higher clocked, faster GPU. Both these chipsets also support quad-channel LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. Now, one more difference between these chipsets is that the Dimensity 8000 supports up to 168Hz FHD Plus displays, while the 8100 supports up to 120Hz WQHD Plus displays. Overall, it's clear from the specs that these are fairly capable chipsets. Now, we don't have a device with these chipsets to show you the benchmarks, but recently, I came across this leaked Antutu score of the Dimensity 8000, and this score is good. I mean, if you go by this score, the 8000 is clearly taking on the Snapdragon 870, and it's doing well, especially the GPU. The GPU score is very good because the 870 is generally in the 2,50,000 region. Now, we don't have the benchmark scores of the Dimensity 8100, but it's said to be taking on the Snapdragon 888. So yeah, it's going to be interesting when we actually have a device with the Dimensity 8100 chipset. Anyway, apart from these specs and details, the Dimensity 8100 and the 8000 have some really cool features. First of all, both of these chipsets have the MediaTek Hyper Engine 5.0 tech, which uses AI acceleration to amp up the visuals while reducing the GPU load to make sure games look better, but power efficiency is also good. Both of the chipsets also have the new MediaTek Imagix 780 ISP that brings features like super fast noise reduction with HDR, AI motion unblur, and HDR video recording from two cameras simultaneously. There are also display features like MediaTek Intelligent Display Sync 2.0, HDR10 Plus adaptive support, 4K AV1 decoding, and support for dual link true wireless audio. When it comes to connectivity, the Dimensity 8000 and 8100 have the Release 16 model, which is the same model that the flagship Dimensity 9000 uses. And this supports dual 5G with dual standby support, along with the latest standards like Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3. There's also the UltraSafe 2.0 take for better battery performance on 5G and 2CC carrier aggregation support. Overall, the Dimensity 8000 and the 8100 are obviously powerful chipsets, but the flagship has to be the Dimensity 9000 chipset. Just look at the specs. The Dimensity 9000 is manufactured in the new TSMC 4 nanometer process, unlike most Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipsets, which are manufactured by Samsung. And it's got the powerful Cortex X2 core clocked at 3.05 GHz, the latest Cortex A710 cores at up to 2.85 GHz, and the Cortex A510 cores at up to 1.8 GHz. All CPU cores can together use 8 MB of level 3 cache and 6 MB of system level cache. The GPU is the Mali G710 MC10 GPU with 10 suggesting the 10 cores, although 16 cores are supported. The 9000 also has support for LPDDR5X RAM which can offer speeds of up to 7500 Mbps. So this is a proper flagship chipset, no doubts about that, and we've already seen the Dimensity 9000 in a number of phones in China. In fact, we have a device with the Dimensity 9000 chipset coming to office very soon, so we will be doing a dedicated Dimensity 9000 in action video. So stay tuned for that and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already and if you don't want to miss that video. Anyway, we have seen the Dimensity 9000 benchmarks and from the looks of it, it seems to be on par with the 8 Gen 1. Having said that, what will be interesting to see is how the Dimensity 9000 performs in terms of battery efficiency and throttling. I mean, it is based on TSMC's fabs, so it should be better, but I'll wait until I have a device with the Dimensity 9000. Anyway, the Dimensity 9000 is also packed with some really cool new features. 
So there's the same Hyper Engine 5.0 for smoother gameplay and better frame rates. There's MediaTek Imagic 790 ISP, which supports 18-bit HDR recording from three cameras at the same time, 320 megapixel camera support, 2x lossless zoom, and more. The Dimensity 9000 also has faster AI performance with the new 590 APU. Look, overall, it's clear that MediaTek means business with these brand new chipsets. Last year, they did not have a chipset for the flagship market, and this year, they have a strong competitor in the form of the Dimensity 9000, which I'm honestly excited to use in a device. Now, what they did have last year is a great lineup of mid-range and high-end chipsets, and this year, they're building on that with the Dimensity 8100 and the 8000. These chipsets, especially the 8100, is something we will be seeing in a lot of phones. I mean, a lot of phones have leaked with this chipset, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see the real-world performance of these chipsets. Anyway, I want to know which new MediaTek chipset are you excited for? Comment down below. Also, give this video a like. Make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Super affordable gaming controller we got from Amazon. This is a racing controller I got from Amazon and I love it.